They don't have that on it right now. So every bit of support, every single viewer, every single every single sub, all goes to helping, keeping them around, keeping them here for us, because we never want to see Devin, Helper, and everybody else leave. But we moving into grand finals. Who, how you feeling right now? Because Pokéland has been looking incredible all day, but Hydra has been looking nice. And I think this disjoint speed from Hydra might actually give Pokéland some trouble. Let's go, Stage oh, Hazard. Oh, Stage Hazard. So you love to see it. We're one sub so, away from our goal. Thank you so much. We need the, oh, the man, throw, throw some HL3K loves in the chat if you got them for that. That, mm -hmm. that. That's immediately answering with the subs. That that's appreciated. Um, I, again, no, I still I do I really do feel good about Hydra's uh, play here against Pokéland because disjoints naturally give villagers some trouble, especially fast Jesus ones. Jesus Christ, get balloons. <laughs> It's like you can't even like do that low recovery stuff with, with, with Villager with that threading down air that's just a disjoint, it mm -hmm. just murders you. It would destroy they, both of your balloons and it would just destroy you, just, just spike you. Just, all of Tyra's hits too, they just like the sound effects on them scared the crap out of but you. But what an answer to somebody ball, jumping too though. damn much is <laughs> throwing a bowling ball below the ledge. You get a little you empty know, there, homie. You're losers right now. Don't even forget that. <laughs> like, Villager is the OG of killing stupid early at the, at the ledge before it smashes. But combo though, God damn. Could, could you? The conversation would be so different about this character if that down air did not auto cancel. Like that down air auto canceling is in. in it's such a huge it's reason it's why Pyro's yeah. so good. <laughs> oh, good jab oh. block. Up smash. Yeah, I like it. Cash out into the big damage. Oh, try to get the mix up with the four, uh, dash attack as well, but good job canceling into the switch. You're dead. <laughs> you're, dead. No, you're, not play, you're not playing the off stage game for it. You're just, you're just not going low. You're not you're not trying to grab that ledge. Thirty-seven <laughs> percent. That's cute. How about I just kill you <laughs> at sixty-nine? <laughs> My God. The meter will help get her there, and then power will just execute. It's just it's how the character is gonna be played. It's so good. It's, it's really like, strong. Don't, 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 don't do that. Oh, <laughs> don't jump into those. Oh, take your sword from her. I dare you. I'm really glad that I get to see these matchups too, because I've been trying to get more data on how I feel Mithra and Pyra are gonna be doing against zoning-based characters, especially ones like this who could try to play lame. Um, I don't feel bad about him at all. <laughs> like you were saying, Mithra just gets in, does the work, makes you annoyed, and then you get to this KO percent to where any one mistake you make on zoning equals death. Here's this whole anxiety attack as they just put you in states of <laughs> <laughs> fear. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and and nervousness. As they hit you once and it's just like, oh my god, am I going to die here? Could just I die here? Just have your brown paper bag right next to you every time you see my uh, yeah, Mithra and Pyra. Oh my god, I actually missed Myra. it. Mithra and Pyra get mixed up with Myra. Beyblades. You can say Myra. No, I refuse to. I don't want to. Right. <laughs> I don't want to give the Pithras and the Myras anything. But <laughs> Oh, he's so lucky he didn't get it by that forward air. Oh now god. you gotta... Be this is this is terrible now because villager sucks in this situation. Vill Speaking of which, still villager not happy when he's dead. Right off the top, that'll be connects and steals his life. I am predicting a bracket reset with the swiftness from this game one alone. This is I, I need very to see. Look. I need specifically to see how it looks on a wider stage. I, I, I need to see how oh, yeah, uh, how too, this looks on a wider stage because if it looks just as bad as that match just now. Um, I, I will agree. Like, po Pokéland needs more room. It was hard to, like, e even though Pokéland does really well here on Battlefield, we saw every time Pokéland got something, Hydra got way more out of those platform layouts. I think something uh, could work out here if Pokéland would take away stages like Battlefield and Smashville, potentially, just to, just to have that space mm -hmm. to, to probably, like, catch her in something or, like, maybe... Like avoid getting into those situations with this character, because mm -hmm. with the with the with the room to roam, like oh, he's oh. Gonna, you got to rob? I've never seen you rob. Before. Huh? Hold I on. didn't know Pokeland played anybody besides Villager. That is Hold news on. to me. I am also very rob? surprised at the rob pick because I was thrown off. <laughs> I don't think Rob does very well against this character, uh, in my opinion. But then again, you know, I've never Gyro seen is. Before, so. Gyro is so, a great option to control neutral, so that's one way to slow down uh, Hydra for sure. Here's the thing, though. Exactly this. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rob has a terrible time landing, which is going to make it a lot easier to get a lot of hits. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, actually, I need to play Rob to play Rob. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you got crazy. me. I've seen I've seen um, Hydra avoid that gyro at least three different times from like almost two different ways. Just running up and blocking it. Is that how fast they are? Should have reacting to it or just foresighting it? That yeah, that's a really I mean, good this, tool. So he's playing. He's doing it very similar to. Oh, you're dead. Oh, oh never mind. No, never mind. He's with Sage. Didn't hit as hard. Didn't feel as hard. Never Still. Hit. Oh my God. <laughs> He is playing around his shield so well right now. He's like been mixing up Pokey Lamb a lot. It, it's the way that he's navigating around Gyro is pretty much the same way that we saw him navigate around a uh, web. Like all this, all all the Zares, all the like any attempts at paralyzer shots, he just dance around it. Like Pokey Lamb needs to get some like grab KO confirms. He needs to he needs to find a way to get Hydra to basically shield. Because Hydra has been playing on the go, relatively uncon like uncontested. I'm just saying right now, God Ooh, bless the fact that this character does not have a counter, <laughs> like most other sword characters. I'm okay with it. <laughs> like... I, I, I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call foresight a counter. It's, it's it, 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 you have enough time to pretty much punish anything with that move. Oh yeah. It's a trip situation, but it doesn't get the follow up because they get hit out of the get up attack. I like Pokemon it. Looking like, good. Oh, never what? Mind. That one mistake? No. Oh, the weight I mean, coming in clutch for Rob. We can't. You're not living another one of those, but the weight definitely helping a little bit there. Ooh, John with the forward tilt right there, taking the stock. Just back to Mitra, and they're playing neutral again. Oh. Sure. Watching Decent Mitra play nice is like you. I feel like you put like a speed multiplier on this game. Like it's just, just it like amplifies the pressure so fast. Look at like this immediate answer. Luckily, the platform got in the way to stop like that falling up air. But oh, good. Get to jab lock. Nice Force damage. off stage. You gotta punish that side B. Oh, never mind. Had enough time to get back in with uh, the air dodge. Good spot there for Pokeland. Thank you, uh, Immoral Atheist, for that sub. Let's go. More Atheist dropping the sub. Shout out. Let's go, Hydra. I've seen you actually say that a couple times tonight, if I remember correctly. So, this is, I mean, hey, this could be Hydra's night for sure. Pokey Lamb definitely looking much better here with this Rob, but only temporarily. <laughs> oh, God. This is the threat of this character. Like, Rob, Rob definitely has the toolkit to annoy, like, like to annoy the uh, Mithra Pyra as much as possible. But oh. the thing is. They just get in so well. They get so much damage. Don't try to challenge it. Remember. Okay, good job with the forward air. At Sandwich least. Situation? Nothing not too early. Oh. Really oh. I'm gonna no tech. Don't miss your techs. You'll get jab block. You get forward smashed. I was like the the town and city definitely coming into assistance a little bit there too. Cause that forward smash, albeit is relatively strong, but not super strong. So unfortunate for Poker Lamb, he dies there. He needs to keep playing well on defense. Like kind of camp this platform, wait it out, get the good anti airs like so. There you go. Is so he gonna cover him at the ledge? Let's nice come back there from Hydra. They're getting all their hits in. Character speed is just outplaying Rob. Yeah, he's just trying to chill. Good, oh, good call and jump. Good DI, good DI in the up air. Now he's in grab range too. Now he isn't. Oh, there you go. That, was, that, that, that might do it. There oh, it yeah. is. Come off the quick mash with the up smash. Poke lamb. Showing us his Rob. Impressive. Yeah, good. Really impressive. Good for him having this Rob because that villager was looking like it was having a real struggle time, like dealing with anything establishing Lloyd rockets establishing short hops they uh fair pressure and hydra was willing to swing for the sake of hopefully catching up that forward smash but that up smash is gonna do it now you have to be a little bit more scared of grabs because of this character i like it um it, it, that's what i was saying before you she have landed. to you have to get him to stay in shield oh. for some reason she landed oh look at that air dodged oh. into there huh Thank you, Chunky Kong Nine, for the follow. But yeah, Let's go Chunky that. Kong. If he had air dodged, the gaming. if he had air dodged the to the left or right, the game would be going, still going. Or they yeah, probably won. Interesting. Probably Interesting. Interesting. The buffered air dodge trying to get away as fast as, uh, as possible. <laughs> Sometimes right. it will cost you. Oh, they're uh, going villager again. Okay, so they have games to, to essentially experiment with your. Essentially, a so it's probably game. heavily stage dependent on why he's switching off between the two too, because he went for the water stage, and now we have a tri plant layout again. I, 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 like I was saying before, I think that this is an incredible stage for 
uh, like Mithra especially because she actually gets easier KO potential. But Pyra gets to kill dumb early here. Uh, but Pokelam does have the ability to trick people up at the ledge now because of like the way it's slanted and get some early KOs off the side of uh, the bowling ball too. It's like just like that, that side view right there. Finding spaces to run from Mitra could be a little tough here. And she's hit that ledge too. So we already saw too, that down air, especially off the platform, it's so easy to catch that ledge because it just kind of lingers a bit longer no, when it's on its way down. Oh, that's oh, a good punish. Yep. That's, a good, that's a good punish. That's the one, like, that's one of the few opportunities Hydra's pretty, Hydra's pretty much given nobody all day. The opportunity to punish any, like, side Bs or recovery. He's been doing so well on getting back to stage. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's not chopping that tree. No, dude, remember what I said before that that down smash could break shield, too? He's very lucky that down smash didn't break that shield. No, jeez. Yeah, run. Run. <laughs> Get okay, this scary. hit. Get these yeah, hits and dip. Yeah, as scary as that move like is, oh, take it. Oh, that's. Imagine situation. you just keep her score. You just keep her sword. I found that you can't, but like. The character the literally time. just can't play. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be insane. He's gotta transform into Mithra to then uh, then be able to fight. That'd be nuts. Right, Sakurai, give her hands. I dare you. Make her more broken. <laughs> <laughs> now that'd be nuts because then they could actually fight without that side B. No. <laughs> or a few times you can punish her. Up B is gonna take it. This is, again, very troublesome situation because now with this last stock especially, you have to play that much more afri like afraid because one, oh, excuse me. Never mind, he's not last stock. For some reason, I thought he was at last stock. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, still, it's still two apiece. Um, yeah, Hydra can build this damage up real quick or get an early kill here from this, this, this positioning right here. I like that near to reverse near setup and oh yeah yeah I like that it hasn't really gone for grab at the ledge too much he's mostly just been swinging. Watch your jump. Yep. I like it. Retreat away. In. He needs to find a way to make these Lloyds like in fairs actually work for his favor because you see how like little he's been getting off of it just because of like how <laughs> oh that was so close to hitting. That smash connects doesn't kill. Yeah, another one of those, especially on a platform, platform he can take it out, so he's got to be careful. But he switched back off to the Pyra. He's, what? Oh, that's a solid Ooh, punish. Just nice. enough range. I did not think that Down Smash would be able to actually punish that neutral B because it's got such little end lag. <laughs> and the move advertised is somewhat safe, but this goes to show that you just need the right timing for it just to punish it. Pokeland now up to stock to one. They're going to take this game here. Yeah, he needs Potentially yeah, the tournament. Say, Play, play simple. Do not get over committal because there it is. Remember what I was saying before? The double jump down air in center stage is a good way to try and get somebody to maybe go for an anti-air, try and challenge. You get punished. Uh, like, And now that you're center stage again, they're going to keep going for it. So be, be willing to commit. Run to the ledge and reset. But just be super careful at ledge because Pyra has Jeez. such good KO power. A slight mistake because of your life here. Good defense. Avoid the half tilts. You see Hydra too. Hydra just trying to like play smart, but Bokulam taking full advantage of the fact that like Pyro doesn't have the best burst options, so he's been slowly punishing it because of it. Trying to get up the dash attack, but couldn't get the punish out in time. This oh good tech. That was an amazing tech. That was such an amazing tech. Lightning Buster will finally do it though. Yes. Only 79%, that's not too bad, but if you get caught at ledge to one of those bowling balls, this could be Pokulam putting himself up 2-1. Willing to throw it like right here. He runs to the edge of that platform to so do it. This this game right here is the one that decides potentially the momentum of the set. So yeah, it's enormous here. because if Pokemon yeah. gets to play with a game up, that means he gets to play a bit more aggressive. But if he's forced to have to play like slower, that has been playing in Hydra's favor the entire night. Good job with the anti here though. He's catching him on the landing with the trip turn. All right, great oh, job funny. shutting that down because that's a like the kill power was majority of the time in Hydra's favor. So the fact that uh, Pokelam was able to shut that down is enormous. And Pokelam looking much better there on that game too with the Villager by comparison to when he fought him in game one. Hmm. So we could what be looking at a non-reset. What a luck yeah, of the exactly. draw there, damn. Because in case people don't remember, the, the luck of the draw comes into play when it comes to Villager up air, down air. It's random. RNGs um, could be blessed, especially Jeez. if you got turnips in your kit. 
Yep. Uh, whenever you need it exactly at the right time. The peaches will pull it. The villagers will pull it. It's perfectly on cue. Um, where do we go for stage? Because like, we already saw that he was willing to switch to Rob when it was Town and City before. Mm -hmm. And they switched off of Yoshi's. Do we run it back to Smashville? Because I'd, I'd say Smashville. That I'd or Battlefield again? One of the two. Uh, any stage that would give Pyramita the... the close range just to run right in there and so swing oh town and city so this is the first coast. we've seen in town and city so that's why i even have this one on the board uh running it to town and city a little bit more room to work with i think maybe hydro likes the fact that he can like if there's no platforms in the way he can actually no we were here with the rob game that's right he switched off to rob when he went to town and city i right, poke i'm looking to seal this out of his villager do you feel Hydra. confident that, that he's like at least learned something about this matchup that could help him beat Hydra? I mean, in that last game, I definitely felt more comfortable. It seemed like he was able to find a bit more opportunities to set up good air to airs. But Hydra has been very, very aggressive to start here in this game. So he's been kind of preventing any setup. That, oh, Ooh, that out. good DI. He held in towards the left. And don't try to punish that. If you drop shield a little bit too early, even when you try to parry it, it's very hard to punish it. Oh, is he gonna make it back? No, he's nah. not. That's enormous. That bowling, the bowling ball was waiting for him right there. Oh, the tree, the damage. Hey, and Poke, Poke Lamb didn't like start that game off in any type of advantage. So now that he's got a stock up, he's already back to the window where he can play and shield a bit more and force Hydra's approach. Cause that's what worked for him in the last game. Yeah, remember everybody. This is this, this is Hydro who has literally who got knocked out in his first round of winners. Currently here in grand down. finals, trying to possibly get it all the way through. But Pokelam has been cruising through winners as well. So let's see what both sides can do in this situation. This, this game is very crucial for whoever wins it, as one wins the tournament and the other one gets another chance to continue fighting. Let's see if uh, Hydro can sneak right past these four sites and get some damage in. Set up a yeah, good you advantage. Need to be able to take advantage. Like the for foresight is like a good option to be able to try and control some pressure, especially when you're zoning. But even so, it's like, oh, that was kind of a big oh. risk going for that photon edge right there. Maybe trying to catch him on landing, but wouldn't recommend again. Or excuse me, lightning buster. They're forcing him to jump. He's forcing him to come approach him. This is where when you're forced to play Pokeland's game, this is where things get like troublesome because you see now he gets to play on retreat. Oh, the bowling ball! Oh. It's more it's threatening when you can, where you can like, barely move off stage with these characters. Yeah. Especially like, if you're caught off stage as Pyro, like, oh, that's that's a punish and that's death. Hard punish. He's pretty much the only one who's been hard punishing Prominence or Volt all night, which is huge because that's a great out of shield option that's kind of been getting invalidated. Hydra looking at one stock left. Bulky Lamb gets him on the air dodge in, forces him away. You better dip away from that tree. Don't go playing <laughs> around with that. I don't care how scared you are. That tree is still a tree. You show us some respect. Oh, okay. That's gonna be hard, hard punish, punish again. again. See, he's he's pretty much invalidated prominence or volt. Like this is this is now looking all Pokelam's favor because he's just he's got him on landing. He's gonna try and go for him on a punish. Looks for the high recovery. Doesn't get it. Oh, that's a stop. Nova. Respect the Mitra. Still not bad for Hydra as Hydra can get one hit. In. So their their process. I like the usage of Nair too, instead of trying to go for grabs, because you could potentially cover neutral get him. <gasps> that was crazy. A little bit too far away. He, he, Pokemon's at KO percent. Yeah, go recover high. 100%. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's worth the risk. And you're, uh, lucky he didn't swing an up smash right there, because honestly, He's I expected him to rip it. Oh, he's forced off stage though. He's going to have to air dash. Oh, I don't know who he got by it. <laughs> yeah, depth to center stage is yeah, getting super close. Pokemon oh. doesn't get the air dodge with the up smash. This is nuts. Pokey Lamp, all you need is just one mistake, one down smash into a punish. That could be it. He gets him with the tree, but he's not dead. All the rage they have right now. Put the Flame Nova on landing. Yo, You're crazy. In, the Red Rocket stops the Flame Nova. You, no, no, he doesn't die. The back door might take it. That's going to be it. Pokey Lamp takes it. Bad. Three to one in Grand Finals over Hydra. Excellent run from Hydra, but Pokey Lamp shutting it down. Grunt Gang's own Pokey Lamp is your Xeno Wi-Fi champion. That whole last stock got so stressful because you see, like, he was getting to the point where he was kind of reaching for the KO. He's trying to get that shield break, look for something big. 
because he got the he got the shield down. I don't necessarily blame him for going for flame over right there, especially if he maybe rolled into the tree. But either way, gave, gave up the one mistake. The amount of times that he got grabbed in that game really set the tone. Because what was I saying before with the Rob matchup, right? Yeah. Uh, Hydro was getting the shield for free. He was literally getting punished like at all. Then he got started getting some grabs in, and what happens in that last game? Grabbed them a ton to get that W. He just he slowly like looked like he broke down that matchup, but he was just like, mm -hmm. alright, so at one point he's gonna switch to Pyro and he's gonna be hitting some uh, kill moves here and there, and it's not gonna be that safe. But I gotta figure out what's the parts that's like not safe and what parts can yep. I like throw punch or punch and, and he found them. It's just like he's gonna wait for me to shield drop so he can do up B. Got it. Telegraphed. <laughs> Yep, that's uh, one good thing that like Villager has going for them is that when you when you know that you're you see red in your opponent when you see that they're hunting for the KO, Villager's whole kit is built to counter that. Yes. Like it just it punishes you for being too aggressive, and he just took full advantage of that. Congratulations to Pokey Lamb for getting the W of the second Xeno Wi-Fi supported by Matcharino, of course, with the additional two hundred and nineteen and fifty nine mm -hmm. cents.